Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video. And today I wanted to share my experience and do a review of these BCW graded comic book bags that I bought off of Amazon a couple weeks ago. And I've since switched over my whole collection to using these bags. Uh, so I've got a good experience with them now and you know a couple positives and, and negatives I would say uh, uh, to share with you guys. So, you know, right off the bat, these are BCW graded resealable comic book bags. Um, specifically, you got 100 bags uh, with this package. Now, first thing to say, these are the polypropylene bags, um, so they're not the Mylar bags. And, uh, you know, obviously Mylar, I think, is kind of a newer thing, quite popular, and they last forever. So, you know, we'll kind of get into some comparisons with the Mylar bags. Um, but you get a hundred of these resealable graded comic book bags. The one thing I'll say right off the bat is there is these other bags, if you notice here, they're a 9 by 14 inch these bags. Um, there are some other bags on Amazon that are, I, I believe it's like 8 and 3 quarters by 13 and 3 quarters or something like that. And those bags only fit uh, old CGC cases. So both of these bags fit new and old CGC cases, the, these bags. So um, if you are on Amazon and you're searching around, make sure if you got a, sort of a combination of old and new CGC cases like I do, and you don't want to buy like separate bags from each, uh, make sure you grab the 9 by 14 and not the like 8 inch by 13 inch or whatever it was. Because uh, then both of the, uh, these bags will fit both of your graded comics. So that's the first thing to say. Uh, second thing, I'll just uh, go over the price really quick here. Uh, for a hundred of these polypropylene graded comic book bags, they were $34.99 Canadian. So the exchange rate I just did, it's $26.30 US. And I think that's a big appeal of these bags is obviously the price because when you're comparing them to Mylar bags, um, Mylar bags for about this same price, you know, I would say, you know, 25 to 30 bucks, you can get about 30 Mylar bags, uh, so obviously you're getting 100 of the polypropylene bags. So that's sort of the price difference that I was seeing, and you know, I, I kind of ended up going with these, obviously, and you know now, uh, and I do have some Mylar bags as well, so I can kind of compare the two and you know, kind of let you know at the end of this video if these were worth it, kind of thing. Um, but let's just get into a couple positives that I really liked about these bags. And the first positive is, as I said, it fits both old and new CGC cases. So you just, you know, you get one package of these and you're good for all your graded comics. Even CBS, CBCS cases, these hold as well. My, uh, I have one CBCS graded comic and it, it fit perfectly in, in the package as well. So one sort of CGC bag for all your comics is, is a good thing. Uh, the second thing, if you notice here, uh, it says they're 2 mil polypropylene. And, you know, by 2 mil, I believe that means 2 millimeters. Um, you know, it could mean like double milled or something, but I'm pretty sure it means 2 millimeter. But that's another really thing, I, good thing I like about these bags is they s definitely have an extra thickness compared to CGC bags. And what I mean by CGC bags are the bags that the CGC comics come in originally. And they are literally like bags, those, uh, the, the comic book ones. They're really cheap, they're like cloudy, they show really bad. Um, so that's what I really liked about these, is they do have a, an extra thickness over those, uh, you know, normal CGC cases that you get when you first get your comics graded, and they're really cheap, those ones. So you do have a little bit of uh, thickness over that. And they do show quite well, which is a really good thing, I think. And... You know, I brought out two comics here. I brought out an old case and a new case. But, I mean, the old... So, you know, this still has a sleeve over it. Usually I take the comics out of the sleeve when I'm bringing them on camera. But since I've moved over my collection, um, if you notice, like, my Batman Beyond video that I did a couple days ago, I kept them in the sleeve when I brought them out. And that was, like, one of the first videos I've ever done that. And it's because I switched them over and I was really surprised at how well they showed. Like, uh, there's, it's a really smooth, kind of clear uh, bag. Whereas the sleeves and bags that your CGC Comics come graded in are not smooth and clear. They're all wrinkly. They're really cloudy. They're super cheap. Um, so 
these bags are definitely better in that respect. They're certainly thicker, uh, they feel thicker, and they're clearer and more smooth, so they just show a lot better. Like, you know, if I show one of my friends a CGC 9.8 in a shitty CGC bag, um, you know, you give it to them if it's in the bag and they just, you know, they look at it and they see the bag and they don't really see the, the comic doesn't uh, show to them really well. Whereas in these bags, I've showed off comics to some friends and, you know, they're really like quick to grab it and go, oh my god, it's in such good shape. And, and that's because you can see the details through the bag. Whereas, you know, in the CGC, with the CGC bags, they're really cheap and crinkly and cloudy and you can't see any of the details and they show really bad. So, yeah, that's, I mean, just for that alone, I think that's kind of worth it for these bags is that, you know, you don't have to take them out of the plastic to show them off, basically. You can just, you know, right away show them they look great in the bag. So that, I think, is, you know, probably the main positive, I would say. Um, so they show well, way better than the old bags. And, you know, obviously everyone's going to compare these bags to Mylar bags. And, you know, for good reason, I think... You know, Mylar's kind of last forever, supposedly, so they certainly got that going for them. Um, and, you know, I think with my experience with these and with how good they show and with the extra thickness that I didn't really think they would have, I thought they would be really similar to CGC bags, um, I actually think these are quite a good value compared to Mylar bags. And it all comes down to price, essentially. You know, these... Again, I, I paid $34.99 Canadian, which works out to about $26.30 American for 100 of these. You're looking at about $30 for, or even more, maybe even more than $30 for about 30 Mylar bags. So, obviously, you, you know, it, to, you have to get over three orders of those to, you know, equal the 100 bags in this. And I'm not sure if at that point it becomes worth it uh, to get the Mylars. And especially with graded comics, because, you know, with Mylar bags, in raw comics, I can understand that a little bit more, getting the Mylar bags, because they last forever, you don't have to worry about, like, any uh, depreciation within the bag, and the bag is actually touching the raw comics, so I can see, you know, in that case, you probably do want something that's going to last forever, that's not going to, like, melt, or, you know, have any type of depreciation at all. I could see how Mylar bags would be really good for raw comics, but in CGC comics, the the comics are already encapsulated, so the bag isn't really touching the comic book, it's just touching this plastic part. So, you know, for me, I think Mylars are a little bit hard to justify in graded comics. Um, the price is just too much, and again, I was, I was pretty um, surprised and happy with how these showed, how they felt, how thick they were compared to normal CGC bags. Um, so, w one of the negatives I have about this, these uh, BCW graded comic bags. Now, um, I'll show you on the, the old case. And it, yeah, as you can see, it fits the old case really nice too. Um, you got enough room on the side there. And, um, so, the, um, these are resealable BCW graded comic bags. So they actually do have a resealable strip on the back, but I don't know what they were thinking, but the strip is almost in like the worst spot possible. Because um, when you, you fold the flap over the back really tightly, the strip is essentially like right on the back lip of the comic. Um, and it like folds over the top almost as well. So if you've noticed here, what I've done is um, the sticky strip, there's a little plastic strip on top of it. I just leave the plastic strip on um, so I don't even take off the plastic strip to you know show the sticky stuff. I just leave it on, fold it over and one piece of tape and then that I found that that's fine. Um, what's really good about these bags is they do have a really long flap. So if you, if you could see the edge of that flap, that really like folds over and it pretty much gives it like an airtight seal inside. So, you know, a little bit of a negative being that this strip, I'm not sure why they didn't put the strip maybe right here. Um, so if the strip was right here, you could take off the thing and pull it down and stick it, you're good. But for some reason, the strip is literally like right here on the edge of the top of the comic. Um, so, you know, I 
the first one I tried to put in, I took off the strip, tried to use it, and it just didn't work. Uh, so, you know, what I would recommend if you do get these, just leave the strip on, flop over one little piece of tape, you're done. And like I said, there's, you still get a, a basically an airtight seal. Um, because, they, yeah, they do really flip over the comic well. And that's another thing that really annoyed me about crappy CGC bags is that, you know, a lot of times they, like, you put them in the bag and then the bag comes up maybe about a half inch above the comic and you, you can't even fold it over and tape it and give it, like, an airtight seal. Um, but with these, with these comic bags, you can definitely do that. So it's not as big of a deal as I first thought. I was like, oh, man, these resealable strips don't even work at all. Um, but if you just keep the strap on, don't, uh, uh, you know, take off the adhesive, just leave it on, uh, flip over the comic, one little piece of tape, and that, that works really good. Um, yeah, and you, you don't, um, like another thing with those old CGC bags, um, that, that was a big annoyance, that you couldn't have almost an airtight seal. And, you know, with these you can, so in that way they're a lot better than, you know, old scraggly CGC bags. And, you know, certainly a lot of the uh, things I mentioned before, uh, you know, they're good value compared to uh, Mylar's. They're, they have a really good thickness. That's one thing that I was really surprised about. That was probably my biggest positive was that um, they almost feel as thick as a Mylar bag. They're, you know, not quite as thick, but almost, almost. So it's, it's not, like you're definitely, you know, if you do buy these bags, you're definitely getting an upgrade from, um, a, a, you know, the crappy CGC bags. So, you know, it's not like you're just, these are exactly like, like, I don't know where CGC gets their bags, but they're not these ones. Uh, so it's certainly an upgrade on crappy CGC bags, maybe not as good as Mylar. And, you know, I, I mean, eventually Mylars, you don't even have to replace, apparently. And eventually you do have to replace these. But again, on graded comic books, I don't think Mylars are necessary. Um, you know, every another thing about these is they're really good as far as like air tightness and everything like that. Um, you know, on a lot of the old CGC bags, because when you store them down near the bottoms, um, they just end up getting like little micro holes in them that's going to let in air essentially. These ones, they are thick enough to not have that happen. Um, you know, maybe over time if you're a little bit rough kind of putting them in and out of your CGC boxes. You might, you know, nick them at the bottom a little bit and maybe over time you might get a hole. But when I, um, you know, put these bags on my CGC comics and taking off a lot of the old bags, almost all of them had little micro holes in the bottom because of storing and just, you know, that's the bag they came in from when I bought, so who knows who was handling them before then. Okay, so that's going to be about it for this review. And I mean, overall, I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with these BCW bags. Um, you know, again, I think Mylar, you can justify it for raw comics because they're actually touching the Mylar. Whereas graded comics, I think you can get away with the polypropylene bags. And, you know, I think the price is right on these. Um, you know, the only thing I would say is a negative is maybe they could have a little redesign and bring the uh, adhesive strip a little bit lower because um, yeah and actually when I purchased my incredible my immortal Hulk um, number one that I just uh, unboxed on camera yesterday uh, it came in one of these BCW sleeves from the person I um, bought from and he's he did the exact same thing that I'm recommending he left the strip on so he didn't take off the strip for the adhesive, he just left it on, flipped it over one little piece of tape, and, and that's going to uh, give you a really good seal. Um, so yeah, not, um, you know, not perfect these bags, but uh, I think they're good value. Um, I'm really happy with them. You know, what was it, uh, $34.99 Canadian, which works out to about $26.30 US. Um, you know, to get a hundred of these bags, and I was... You know, once I got them all switched over, and, you know, they just look a lot better in the box, I gotta say. And I'm really happy with them overall, because, you know, I think it does have a lot to do with the aesthetics of just seeing them in the box all nice now. And they show a lot better, I don't have to take them out of the plastic to bring them on camera anymore, so that's a really good positive too. So yeah, overall, I think for graded comics, 
I would recommend these BCW bags over Mylar bags. I think Mylar bags are good for raw comics because they actually touch the comic, but graded comics are already encapsuled. You don't need... All you need is like a, a high quality bag. That's it. You don't need like something that's going to last forever and, or anything like that because, again, they don't touch the comic at all. So I just don't see why you would have to spend like three or four times as much money to... Um, you know, to get all your comics. Uh, me, I have about 75-ish graded comics. Uh, so yeah, these 100 come in this uh, package, so it was perfect for me. Perfect for me, and yeah, I gotta say I'm pretty happy with this purchase, and I'm actually pretty happy I didn't go and buy the Mylars because I was really seriously considering buying the Mylars. Uh, but again, I think for graded comic bags, these are really, these are good enough. They're thick, they, they have a good thickness to them, a good quality to them. Um, yeah, they, they don't seem to easily rip or break or have any micro holes in the bottom. And they're way, way, way better than normal CGC bags that come with your CGC comics. So you're definitely going to get an upgrade over those comics, even though they're not Mylar's. Okay, I think that's going to be it for today, though. Just a quick uh, review. I wanted to uh, share my experience with uh, these bags, because I actually really like them. I, I really recommend them, to be honest. Um, so if you haven't already, please uh, join the team and subscribe to our channel here at Team CGC 9.8 and hit that bell to get all the notifications. You know, we're doing about four or five videos a week right now. Uh, so hit that bell and make sure to get all the notifications uh, for everything. But thank you very, very much for watching. Thanks for all your support. I really appreciate it, all the views and comments and engagement from people. I love to talk about comics, talk with uh, uh talk about comics with uh everyone and with with the whole team out there so um really thankful for all the support and all the feedback and all the things so thank you very much for that but that'll be all for this video and i will see you on the next one